Hey guys, this is Dyson and DIY. Sorry it's been such a long time since I recorded my last video, but today I got a really special one for you guys. Today we're going to be renovating an old staircase by ripping out the carpet and installing brand new custom hardwood flooring. This will give it a nice clean look. By the time we're finished, the project looks completely different. Check it out. The process for this was different from our normal projects because we chose to finish our wood planks before cutting them up. We bought them at our local home improvement store and our first step was to apply the pre-stain to prevent the wood from looking blotchy. This can often happen after staining softwoods like pine. Afterwards, we applied our stain and allowed it to dry. After the wood had been stained, we applied four water-based polyurethane coats to the boards, sanding in between each coat. We chose to go for this finish because it builds up a smooth film over the wood which should provide some protection for it over the years. When we sanded the finish between coats, it was really softly with 220 grit sandpaper. The objective is to only smooth out the small bumps and imperfections in the finish, not to strip the finish off. After the finish had been applied to the tread, we went over to the staircase, removed the current carpet, and measured the length and width of the stair. We then added an inch and a quarter to the width to account for the needed overhang. We then went over to the table saw and ripped our boards to the calculated width. We also cut our boards to length on the table saw so using a cross cut slot. You'll notice that on some boards we cut the full distance in one pass, while on other boards we cut the distance with two passes. This is because on some boards the ends had some defects that we didn't like, so we cut them off on both sides. Once all the boards were cut, we started to install them. We did this by applying an even bead of liquid nails along the wood. Then we hammered our treads in with a mallet and nailed them in from the back. The nails should be shined from the very back of the treads so they can be covered by the riser. That way you won't have to fill any other holes. There were a couple floorboards that had an audible squeak to them. To fix this, we drove in some screws from above into the wood supports beneath.
After all the treads were installed, we started to focus on the risers, which ended up being super simple. We bought a quarter inch hardboard panel that was painted white and cut down into 8 inch strips. We did this on the table saw. We then attached the strips to the stair with the nail gun, which was very similar to installing the treads. We have an animation to show this process because we forgot to record it while installing them. We first set our piece by the stairs and applied some liquid nails to the wood. Then we pressed our hardboard strip against it. From there we marked the places where we would secure the riser with nails and shot them through every 4 inches with our nail gun. After that, we finished the rest of the renovation by getting the floor carpet installed and painting the walls. After everything was done, the stairs looked amazing.